Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Reaction Waltz and welcome back to my channel guys. It's actually back guys. The Darius Moglitch is actually back. So we're getting hyped for this, but guys, this is not the fully Darius Moglitch into online. This is just Darius Mode outfit transfers. But guys, outfit transfers are even better since you can create modded checkerboard outfits or modded juggernaut outfits, stuff like that. So this is twice as better. But also, everyone wants the Darius mode in online to create even better outfits. I get that. I'm currently working on it with a couple of other friends. I'm going to have that soon. If I don't, then I'm sorry. But make sure to go on my Twitter and keep updated about that. But I'm not going to waste any more time. And let's just get in with today's glitch. So today's glitch, guys, is well, obviously you'll need access to the Darius mode. And you also need access to Crater. So guys, when you are in single player, quickly go over to start. And then go to the online tab and make sure you can access Crater. Because some people say that their Crater is blacked out. If your Crater is blacked out, that means you just have to join online, quit online, back into single player, and load up your save. So the Dire Smoke glitch doesn't kick you into prologue. So what we want to do is make some outfits on your female character. So guys, to create some awesome components for your modded outfits is you can go down in the description. I'll leave a link to a 7 cent spread of all the clothing items that you can put on to make modded outfits. So for instance, for this video guys, I will be making the Juggernaut outfit. So make sure to apply everything that I'm putting on in this video if you do want the modded Juggernaut outfit. And then when you do have your outfits, just go ahead and save your outfit. And then you wanna go ahead and f swap your character back to your male. Guys, as well, big disclaimer, this replaces all of your outfits. So do this at your own risk. If you want all your outfits replaced on your male character, and don't do this but if you want your outfits transferred from male character to female character then do create the outfits on your male character vice versa so when you are in single player just proceed to enter the casting trailer so enter direct mode by opening up your interaction menu and then direct mode what you want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and enter direct mode so guys there's three ways of doing this you could either blow yourself up with a sticky bomb you could blow yourself up with an rbg or the railgun now the railgun is more accurate with this glitch order than the sticky bomb or the rpg the RPG is needs a lot of timing and so does the sticky bomb but with the with the railgun there's not that much timing except for the timing of parsing it so when you are in the direct mode session you just want to go, go ahead and pull up your weapon so for instance i'm going to be using the rpg but guys i railgun so i'm going to show a clip from the rpg to the railgun on how accurate it is so i'm going to use the rpg for this clip and you want to go ahead and aim close to the ground so the RPG bullet is closer to the ground so it's closer to you. And you want to just want to go ahead and hold start and you, do, you don't want to let go start until you fire the weapon. So once you fire the weapon, you want to quickly let go of start. For seven, is you should see the explosion in the background. If you don't see this and you die, obviously you've done you've timed it wrong. But it is kind of a pain to do with the RPG or sticky bomb. Now you can fail a couple times. It's kind of hard with the RPG. But the main thing you want to look out for is you don't want to have blood on your character. Now I've tried this many times where I've had blood on my character. I've gone into critter and it's never worked. I've used and sometimes I would have the message where I would do I want to exit direct mode if you do get that message when you enter crater just hit x and it should work from that as well i've had so many attempts with that and it works so yeah so now we're going to move on to the railgun method which is more accurate so you want to go ahead and do the same steps aim towards the ground aim towards the ground and just you want to you just want to hold start and then when you're holding start just shoot the gun and then you just want to let go start and you should see the explosion on the ground but you don't want blood on your character like i did say and you just want to go over to the crater tab and then when you are in crater you should see that your screen should turn black and then you should have a double glitch menu when you are in the crater if you do see this guys then you've obviously done the glitch correct and guys when you are in crater don't click anything yet now you just want to go ahead and go down 17 times when you go down 17 times this makes it able for you to enter the direct mode even though you are in crater
when you have gone down 17 times guys you want to go ahead and hit x and what should happen is it should enter the direct mode but also be kind of glitched so you'll be in the sky but in direct mode you'll know if you're in the direct mode because you'll be able to hit start and you'll be able to go over to choose character then when you hit choose character what should happen is you should see the direct mode logo in the top right if you do get the direct mode logo in the top right it means you've done this correct and then what you want to go ahead and do is pick the outfit that you did create the modded outfits on so for instance i created modded outfits on my female character so i'm going to select on my female character and then you just want to wait for it to time out guys Now, the outfits will not save if you hit X because it'll just kick you back into prologue. So you just want to go ahead and hit hold and go hold the PSM button and then you should go ahead and quit the application. This also does work on the Xbox. Now when you have closed your application, you just want to go ahead and relaunch GTA 5. Then when you relaunch GTA 5 and you are in your single player, you just want to go ahead and go to the online tab and then go into online. And then when you are in line, select the outfit where your female outfits would be and it should be there but that's it for today's video guys if you did like today's video and as always turn on my post notifications and subscribe to this channel and that's it for today's video guys and peace